Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Richard Retty and Karel Obochensky. This very beautiful chess game was played in 1922. And who is player with the black pieces? Karel Obochensky. Karel Obochensky was Czechoslovak champion. Richard Retty had white pieces and he started with d4. Karel Obochensky played d5. C4, Queen's Gambit, C6, declined, Slav defense. E3, Knight to F6, Knight to C3, Bishop to F5, developing the Bishop before playing E6. C takes on D5, Knight takes on D5. Sometimes Black takes with the pawn, but Queen to B3, Aikido move is a bit unpleasant. So we have Knight takes on D5. Knight to f3, e6, bishop to d3, bishop to b4. Black is threatening to win a pawn. What would you do about it? Maybe queen to c2 could be played? Richard Retty, castled, kingside, and Karel Obochensky happily captured the knight. Bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, Knight takes on c3, black won a pawn, and now he is threatening to capture white queen. Did Reti misplay the opening? What do you think? Is this a good start for white or not? Well, on the surface it doesn't look like a good start, does it? Let's see what did Reti have in mind. Queen to c2 with a double threat. Bishop takes on d3, queen takes on d3, knight to b5. There was a game when black played knight to d5, bishop to a3 was unpleasant. Knight to b5, a4 attacking the knight, knight to d6, bishop to a3, b6, and now knight to e5. White has a pretty good compensation for a sacrifice pawn. Do you agree? All white pieces are active, white king is safe, black only develop the knight and then a castle. f6, kicking the knight back, and it's becoming very interesting now. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Please don't pause for too long, because the move is not easy to find. Queen to b3, what a move. Tal was inspired when he studied this game. Black to move, f takes on e5 was played, objectively, the strongest move. What else, if castling, then the queen takes on e6, check, so we have f takes on e5, d takes on e5, black to move, after thinking long and hard. Karel Opochensky castled king's side. If knight goes to f5, this saves the knight. But what happens after that? Then the queen takes on e6, check. Knight to e7, rook from a to d1. Knight to d7, rook to d2, with rook from f to d1 to follow. And black is tied up in a knot. Nobody would enjoy to play a position like this. So, Karel Opochensky castled king's side. Bishop takes on d6, black king reached the safety of castling, but white got his piece back and the attack continues. Rook to e8, white to move. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Reti played f4, intending f5. And white rook would be the star on the f-file. King to h8. Rook from a to d1, lining the rook with the black queen. Queen to c8. e4. What is the purpose of this move? Can you see the purpose? The purpose is to switch the queen to the king's side. White queen wants to say hi to the lonely black king. Black to move, g6 was played. If knight to d7, f5. So we have g6, 
coming to h3, c5, f5, pawn takes pawn on f5, pawn takes pawn on f5, g takes on f5, rook takes on f5, knight to c6, the knight is in the game, it may go to d4 next, why to move, what would you do, right you played, an amazing move in this position, please don't pause, this move is extremely difficult to find, and the move is e6, offering the pawn for free, maybe, Opochensky studied the position long and hard, and decided not to take the pawn, so he chose the third option, rook to g8, if queen takes on e6, then rook to f8 check, if rook takes rook, then queen takes queen, and if king goes to g7, then queen takes queen, and after rook takes queen, rook takes rook, and white is winning. What else? If rook takes on h6, then rook to f7, threatening queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate, after queen to g8, queen takes rook, back to our game. So Karel Opochensky played rook to g8, ready to meet rook to f7 with rook to g7. Ready played rook from d to f1. Rook takes rook. If queen takes on e6, then white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? Queen takes queen. Just kidding. And what about the serious move? Queen to g8. Then rook to f8 is winning. Back to our game. Rook takes rook on f7. Rook takes rook. Opochensky resigned in view of this continuation. Queen to g8, defending the pawn on h7. But then, how would you continue now? Then, queen to c3 check, and after knight to d4, the knight is no longer defending e5 square, so bishop to e5 check, and after queen to g7, bishop takes queen check. And I guess we can stop here. What a brilliant game by Letty. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.